For more details on Beth Holloway's visit, let's go to in session correspondent Jean Casares in New York. Good morning, Jean. And as you know, I mean, as you of all people know, there's a lot of security at Castro Castro. How did Beth Holloway gain access to the prison and to Joran Vandersloot? So, Warren, we just got off the phone with Maximo Altes. He is the attorney for Joran Vandersloot, who tells us and confirms with us that Beth Holloway, in fact, on Wednesday did enter the gates of Castro Castro. Wednesday is Women's Visitors Day. And we understand through Maximo Altes that when she got there, she had a meeting with the director of Castro Castro and asked for Joran Vandersloot to be part of that meeting and to come. Well, Maltes tells, uh, tells us that, quote, they took Joran practically by force into that meeting with Beth Holloway. Beth Holloway said to Joran Vandersloot, I want you to know I have no hatred in my heart for you. Joran Vandersloot seemed very pleased, but said he couldn't talk with her because his attorney was not there. He gave Beth Holloway the attorney's business card. That ended the meeting. And Maximo Altes says Natalie Holloway's mother has not contacted him. But you're right. There is so much security that is taken into Castro Castro to get into that maximum security facility. A picture is taken of you. You give your passport to authorities. I had to go through a full body scan to get in there. They kept all of my possessions as I went in. And so it, it is quite something and very documented when you enter that prison. Wow. Interesting. We're finally getting that information as to how she got in there. Now, you just got off the phone with the brother of Stephanie Flores. Uh, his sister's death is the reason why Vandersloot's in jail. What did he have to say? This is really interesting. You know, we had known that they had wanted to meet each other for a while. Well, he told me that he had gotten a phone call saying that Beth Holloway on Tuesday was at the hotel and wanted to see him. So he said that he went there, Enrique Flores, this is the brother of Stephanie, he said when he got there, he was met with cameras and lights, and, and he said he was shocked. He never thought that it was going to be that situation. He said Beth was wonderful to him and asked him how the family was, really wanted to know about the investigation, what's going on, how long do you think he's going to serve in prison, she asked Enrique Flores. But Enrique stopped it right there. He said, I, I don't want to talk about the investigation. My family is not speaking out on this. We are not public on this. He said it was a really short meeting, and then he left. Wow, Gene, are the cameras and all that, does that relate to uh, Thomas DeVries, I guess the Dutch yeah. journalist? Yeah, Peter DeVries. Oh, we Peter were able DeVries. to confirm that she is in Lima doing a story with Peter DeVries, and that's the investigative Dutch reporter that has interviewed Joran Vandersloot several times. So that's an interesting aspect of this case. Where it goes, I think time will tell. That's Peter DeVries right there in that photo, and that is right at the entrance of Castro Castro, taken this week by Panamericana Television, a CNN affiliate. Okay, now, Gene, I'm wondering, will this visit hurt the extortion case against Vandersloot in Alabama? I'm thinking about that. You know, mm. on the one hand, uh, if she would have to take the stand in that case, the emotions of a mother wanting to find out what happened to her daughter could be very compelling, very emotional for a jury. If, and I say if in capital letters bold, there's any money exchange at all or any, uh, you know, gratuities given to the family for doing an interview like this with Peter DeVries, that could go the other way.